We are talking about Henry Cavill's rumors to have negotiated with the WB for a potential Superman return, increased wages, and more creative control demanded. And you know what's really funny, Shane? Can I ask you? What? Can I ask you a question, Shane? Yes. Yes. This was this was yesterday, uh, two days ago. Yes. What happened uh, seven days ago? What yes. Did, what did we say? What did we say seven days ago? That Henry Cavill must come back as Superman. And we literally predicted this seven days ago that with the loss of Ezra Miller yes. and the need for a Iron Man type figure to rally the DC behind, this should or definitely it might or it should bring the, the Warner Brothers back to the table with Henry Cavill, who on a weekly basis expresses his desire to be Superman. And now... Looks like we're right. At least the rumors are saying. At least so. the rumors are saying that. Uh, if this is the case, there there is a couple of hurdles that have to be reached. Um, what does he want? Now this is important. He wants eight figures. So at the very minimum, he wants ten million dollars. Okay. Um, give him so. Give him give him ten million dollars. I know, but the problem is, is Warner Brothers don't work like that. And this is where the big hangups coming because they Warner don't. Warner Brothers gave Warner Zach, Brothers. Zack Snyder sixty million dollars to do the Snyder Snyder cut. Right, so they got to feel like, hey, we're going to get enough money because they still got to pay everybody else to do the movie, right? To pay one actor ten million dollars. Now, granted, it's Superman, um, and everybody's going to show up to this movie. Yeah, Iron. I do. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. got like forty something million dollars for Iron Man three. Right. Not Warner Brothers, though. That's not Warner Brothers Studios. That's true. Warner Brothers does not pay people that much, typically. That's true. Um, But what does he want? He wants, uh, basically, he wants to have a right uh, of inspection and approval on the work of the director and the scenario, as well as a place within the production of Superman. So he wants to be a producer of some sort. He wants to be, he wants to help make the dinner so to speak that's great i think i think I think, I think henry cavill has some has some like really good um a good head on his shoulders him and the rock make really good decisions you know and right. they have the same yeah. team well and speaking of the rock um apparently it's also thought that dwayne johnson uh, really wants a slugfest between the two before black adam and superman um, and he, and he, apparently what's being said is he won't approve any alternatives, uh, than other than Henry Cavill for, to play Superman against him. So that so may be playing a role. That's a massive deal because, um, there are few people in Hollywood that have the juice that Dwayne mm-hmm. the Rock Johnson has. Right. Like there's, there's only a, there's a handful of people that have the ability to move mountains and do whatever they really want to do. And The Rock is one of those people. Like, he's got juice. And mm. it's really good for Henry Cavill that the guy who has juice is doing a superhero movie in the DCU. And it, and it also shares a manager and a management team <laughs> with Henry Cavill. Mm. And they're friends, and I'm pretty sure they might have been married to the same person at one point. I forgot the exact story on that. Right. But, like, they were actually, like, married. I got to look it up. So, I mean, it's a massive possibility. Um, I mean, it would be very interesting. Oh, you know, it's funny. I was watching uh, The Count of Monte Cristo the other day, mm-hmm. and uh, Henry Cavill plays the son in that movie. Really? I didn't realize that. He does, yeah. Oh my God, he dude. plays the, the son. Um, He's very young. I'm sorry. Did you you watch the County of Monte Cristo and didn't say anything to me? I mean, I've seen it lots of times. So, <laughs> I don't know. I've seen a lot. It's one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite 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 movies of all time. Oh, okay. No, um, it is a great movie. Yeah. So, Danny Garcia, business partner and ex-wife of Dwayne Johnson. And and she is also uh, Henry Cavill's uh, <laughs> uh, manager and agent. So I think we might be okay. 
Yeah. That would be great to see it happen. Okay. All right, so back to this. Um, I got distracted for a minute. All right, what were you saying? Yeah, I hope it happens. Oh, yeah, this is what Henry Cavill said. He said, uh, I would love to play Superman again. It all depends. There are many moving parts to that. It's not just down to my desire. Well, yeah, it's down to your desire and... Um, you want ten. you want ten million dollars and uh, final approval. I guarantee you that if he was going to get if he you know <clears throat> the final approval would be completely fine. You know for a partnership approval with like Dwayne the Rock Johnson that because they're like friends. They're like really good friends. Yeah, at least ten million. But he might be asking for something. He could be asking for. It's, he said eight digits, so maybe he's asking for fifty million. So it just depends on how much he thinks that he can get, you know, what's the movie going to make? What percentage does he want? You know, if Henry was smart, what he would do is he would say, well, give me a percentage of the film. Yeah. Just get, yeah. yeah so yeah, he went point of sale, right? So yeah. yeah, give me $10 million and, and uh point of sale and we're good. Yeah. So this is what, uh, David Accutin, Ac- Accusin, who is this person? Why is he? Why is he have so many? He has seven hundred followers. Why are people listening to this person? I don't know. Whatever it is, he said negotiations negotiations between Henry Cavill and WWE are muscular. A significant salary increase. He would also like to have a right of inspection and approval on the work of the director and the scenario, as well as a place on the production of the Superman film. Restore the Snyderverse. Oh, the first thing, to be honest, with these demands, he should be replaced. I don't understand that logic. I've heard mm. that before. Why should he be replaced? He's asking for what other show, like big movie runners, ask for. I don't think it's uh, uh, remotely un- unreasonable to say, look, hey, you're making a movie called Superman. I'm Superman. You're making a movie called Iron Man. I'm Iron Man. I would like to have, uh, you know, a production credit. I would like to be part of the production team and I would like this much money. How in the world is that unreasonable? Well, and it may be that Warner brothers and other people think that, well, anybody can play Superman. That's just not the case. You know, we've, we, we had a long dry spell of Superman, a good Superman until we got to Henry Cavill. I mean, basically Christopher Reeves to Henry Cavill, everybody else in between was, eh. So, you know, yeah. All right. Well, whatever it is, I think uh, everyone knows our opinion so far. Um, yeah, everyone, everyone, you know, people, people constantly keep bringing up those Superman and Lois thing. Yes, that guy that plays Superman, Superman Lois, is a very good Superman. However, he's also a TV Superman. He he could never There's handle the big screen. He's not even big enough. Like he's he's not even like he he has he has the TV quality for Superman. He does not have the movie quality of Superman. And the best Superman we've seen on the big screen since Reeves uh, has been Henry Cavill. And we don't understand why you would replace him when also every movie he made, even the flops, quote-unquote, made tons of money. Just ridiculous amounts of money. So I don't know why you would possibly even consider replacing him. You know, unless you're just being short-sighted, which we know for a fact DC has an incredibly bad track record of being short-sighted when it comes to the DCU. They just they, they can't figure it out because they're so they they can't get the right people involved. They fire someone because they want to release it sooner. They want the run town run time down low enough. They have all these crazy demands, and the studio gets involved to the point where the movie is unwatchable. Because case in point. The director's version of Justice League um, is 100% better than the theatrical version, but the the uh, Zack Snyder cut, the Snyder cut, is 400% better than mm. the theatrical version. So you 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 have the studio pulled back a little bit, and you got a much better film. And then they pulled back completely, and you got the masterpiece that is the Snyder cut. So. That's that. Very true. Listen, boys, uh, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button on the way down to the comment section to tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about and 
Um, the best uh, Superman is actually Brandon Ruth in his underwear. Stop. Do it. Do it. Let us know what you guys think about Henry Cavill. You want me back or you're like, uh, you just don't care. And if that's the case, that's fine. I understand. They want Dean Cain back. They want Dean Cain. Give me Dean Cain, Cain. Cain. Superman. Uh, no, I don't want him as Superman. I want Supergirl, please, okay? And I want Brie Larson to play Supergirl. <laughs> Stop Nerds it. Nerds' right heads would explode. <laughs>